Hey guys, this tutorial will show you how you can use the updated version of the attendance feature using the WPERP's HR module. So make sure you have the attendance module installed. The link for this is given in the description box below. Once you install this feature, your attendance feature will look just like this. For the basic settings, go to Settings, HR, More, and Attendance. Grace before check-in refers to how early in minutes is a check-in acceptable for a person to check into the office. For example, if your office shift starts at 8 a.m. and employee checks in at 7.55 a.m., then this early check-in will be acceptable because the grace time before a check-in is set to 10 minutes. Grace after check-in refers to how late in minutes is it acceptable when a person checks in late to the office. For example, if office shift starts at 8 a.m. and an employee checks in at 8.09 a.m., this will be acceptable as a timely entry because the grace time is set to 10 minutes. Grace before checkout refers to how much time is acceptable in minutes when a person leaves the office early. For example, if the shift ends at 6 p.m. but a person checks out at 5.55 p.m., this will not be counted due to the grace time before a checkout being set to 10 minutes. Grace after checkout refers to when overtime will be counted. So if a shift ends at 6 p.m. but an employee checks out at 6.05 p.m., this will not be counted as an overtime because grace time was set to 10 minutes. Self-attendance means that an employee checks in manually by logging into the system. When you enable self-attendance, you will also be able to enable threshold between check in or out. In threshold, employees can check in and out multiple times. This is done by setting the threshold time, which allows one to check back in after a designated time. In this demonstration, a person can check back in or out of the system exactly after 2 seconds. So be sure to enable the self-attendance option to allow your employees to check in or out multiple times. Enabling IP restriction only allows a user to check in or out from one specific address. Enable IP restriction to restrict a user from checking from a particular IP address. Set the IP address under the whitelisted box to restrict an employee from checking in or out from a particular IP address. You can set an email reminder if you want to send a notification to employees for checking into the ERP system. To configure this, go to Settings, Email, Notification and Template, then go to Configure, and then set the email so that employees will receive the notification when Grace after check-in period is over. Lastly, click Save when you are done. There is another alternative to access the grace time settings. Go to Attendance, Tools, to set the grace period. To create a shift, go to HR, Attendance, Shift, and Add New Shift. Set shift name, start time, and end time, and the weekends before clicking on Updates. Now under Actions, click on Generate, then set the start and end date of your shift. You can set the shift for all employees or for specific employees. You can also override the previously assigned employees assigned to other shifts. Click Generate when you are done. You can create as many shifts as you need to. Here, we have two more shifts with different timing. You must create a new shift if it ends, or else your employees will not be able to check in. 
For example, if a shift is for a year or month, then you must generate it again after a year or month. In the next step, you need to create bulk shift. So under attendance, go to assign bulk shift. Then select the number of employees and select a shift name. Then hit the apply button to confirm. Now your employees will be able to check in or out as shown in this example. Managing Employee Attendance From your HR dashboard, click on Attendance. You can view a snapshot of the overall attendance. Click on a particular date to view the number of attendance of your employees. Click on edit of a particular date if you want to manually set the date for your employees as an HR admin. Set an employee to present, then check the box for the edit column. Now set the check in and check out time and hit save changes. You can also set all the employees to present or absent if there are many employees in the list. You can import and export your attendance based on date or employees. Just filter the date for the attendance date report. Then click on Export CSV button to download the CSV file. Do the same thing if you want to export the report on the attendance report based on employees. To import, go to Tools under Attendance, then click on a shift name. Choose a file from your desktop. Or, you can use our sample file for importing your data. To view the attendance of a particular employee, go to People, then click on an employee name, then select the Attendance tab where you can view every single details of your employee's attendance. An employee can also view their own attendance report. Just go to HR, My Profile, and click on Attendance and filter the date to view the attendance report. And that is how you can use the updated version of the attendance feature using the WP ERP's HR module. For more videos on managing your business activities on your WordPress site, be sure to check out WP ERP and subscribe to our channel.